Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an advanced real mobile keyboard prototype in Figma, the fastest and easiest way I know. By the end of this video, you'll be able to set up a working mobile keyboard design without spending hours on the nitty gritty details. Whether you're building an app UI or simply want to wow your team with a polished prototype, this method will save you tons of time and effort. All right, let's dive right in. The first thing you'll want to do is open up Figma and head straight for the Templates and Tools section. This is like the toolkit or the library of ready-made goodies that can supercharge your workflow. Instead of starting from scratch, which, trust me, can be very time-consuming for something as detailed as a mobile keyboard, we're going to leverage what's already available. Now look for the search bar at the top of the Templates and Tools window. This is where the magic really happens. Go ahead and type in Mobile Keyboard Prototype. This will pull up a range of keyboard starter kits, UI components, and sometimes entire phone UIs complete with interactive keyboards. If you've ever faced that blank canvas moment, you know how helpful it is just to have a foundation to start with. Take a moment here to browse through the available options. You'll see there are several different mobile keyboard prototypes, some styled for iOS, others for Android, and some that are more neutral or minimalist. Choose the one that fits your project best or the one that feels closest to your app's visual style. Don't worry too much about getting it perfect, you'll be able to customize it in just a second. Once you find one you like, just click to open it up. You'll see all the keyboard layers, buttons, and interactions already set up for you. If you think about trying to build this from scratch, all those keys, shadows, and interactive elements, it would easily take you several hours. With a template, it takes just seconds. This is honestly one of my favorite Figma hacks for working smarter, not harder. At this point, simply copy the keyboard frame or component and paste it into your own Figma project. Depending on the template, you might be able to copy a whole artboard or just the keyboard component itself. From here on, it's all yours. You can adjust the colors, switch out fonts, add or remove keys, and tweak the interactions to match your app's needs. If your project requires a dark mode or if you want to use a custom font, go for it. That's the beauty of using a template as your starting point. Once you've customized your keyboard, it's time for the big reveal. Preview your design in Figma's prototype mode. This lets you get a real feel for how the keyboard behaves. Tap around realistically, check your interactions, and see how it looks in context. If you spot anything out of place, you can always dart back and tweak it. That's the quick flexibility you get from Figma's live preview. And that's it, see how streamlined that was. In just minutes, you've gone from a blank canvas to a full-fledged mobile keyboard prototype with all the bells and whistles. Seriously, this can save you hours for every project. If you found this walkthrough helpful, make sure to hit that like button, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want to go deeper with other advanced Figma tips. And don't forget to subscribe, I post tutorials just like this every week to help you up your design game. Thanks for watching and happy designing!